What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, His Excellency, Prince Turkey al -Jik, is truly, truly trying to make his mark in the sport of boxing in a big way. And one in particular, we know August 3rd, he got a major card coming up August 3rd, where he's going to have um, a card stack from top to bottom. Uh, Riyadh season is coming to the States in LA. August 3rd, headlined by Terrence Crawford, Israel Majumov. It's going to showcase also uh, Isaac Pitbull Cruz versus El Rayo, Jose Venezuela. Uh, it's also going to feature Andy Ruiz Jr., the return of Andy Ruiz Jr. versus Jarrell Big Baby Miller. Uh, it was supposed to feature Tim Zhu versus Virgil Ortiz, but uh, Tim Zhu suffered an injury, had to be pulled from the fight. It's also going to feature David Morrell, um, Andy, Andy Cruz. So it's going to feature a lot of big names, right? And as a fan, Turkey al -Sheik, His Excellency, Prince Turkey al -Sheik, he's trying to put on the biggest and best fights possible. Now, it's been announced that Saul Canelo Alvarez, September 14th, is going to face off against um, Puerto Rican superstar title contender, Edgar Berlinga, September 14th, which is Mexican Independence Day weekend. And Terrence Crawford is going to fight August. Well, His Excellency Turkey al -Sheik is expecting to make a fight with Terrence Crawford and Saul Canelo Alvarez, which will be a major fight, a mega fight. And two-time WBC super middleweight world champion, Mexican Ecuadorian superstar boxer, David the Mexican Ecuadorian monster Benavidez, who was Canelo Alvarez WBC mandatory challenger, he got frustrated. And he's like, listen, I'm just gonna go to light heavyweight. I've been Canelo Alvarez's mandatory challenger for uh, far too long, and I'm not gonna sit around and hold my career up. So he went to light heavyweight, and he fought against Alexander Gobsdick, and he beat Alexander Gobsdick. And initially he stated that he felt like the weight was a little bit too much for him. He was the smaller guy, but he dominated the fight. Um, and he was gonna come back down and challenge Canelo Alvarez. But Canelo Alvarez is going to fight Edgar Belinga in Las Vegas, September 14th, T-Mobile Arena. So it's not happening, right? But get this. Now, David Benavidez is the mandatory challenger for the massive undisputed light heavyweight showdown between Dmitry Bivol and Arta Bedebiev. Two undefeated fighters. Arta Bedebiev is the unified three belt uh, WBC, IBF, WBO world champion. Dimitri Bivol is the WBA light heavyweight world champion. And finally, they're going to face off against one another for undisputed, right? Uh, so with that said, David Benavidez now, after beating Alexander Gobsdick, he made himself the mandatory challenger for the winner. So he's expected to get the winner. But here's why this is important. Because Turkey al -Sheik is looking to do one of two things. Because he wants to make either Canelo versus Terrence Bud Crawford or Canelo versus David Benavidez and he's willing to put up the money. Now we know that um, Canelo Alvarez when asked about fighting David Benavidez, he said, give me 150 to $200 million and I'll fight him tomorrow, right? He's not asking for 150 to $200 uh, million to fight Edgar Belenga or um, he didn't ask for that to fight Jaime Munguia, but he's asking for that because the threat that David Benavidez represents, right? And so with that said, initially Canelo said he didn't want to fight any more Mexican fighters. So David Benavidez said, well, I'm Ecuadorian. Then he changed it and he said, well, I'll fight Mexican fighters uh, depending upon how they pay me. So he's moving the goalposts when it comes to fighting um, David Benavidez, right? The Mexican monster, Ecuadorian monster. So uh, now His Excellency Turkey al -Sheik, is looking to challenge Canelo Alvarez by making the Terrence Crawford fight with Canelo Alvarez, right? And then putting David Benavidez on the same day, on the same card against the winner of Dimitri Bivol, Arta Bedebiev. So if he can't make the Terrence Crawford, if he can't make the David Benavidez Canelo fight, he's looking to make a massive mega card that will feature David Benavidez versus the winner Arta Bedebiev, Dimitri Bivol, and Terrence Crawford and Canelo Alvarez. That arguably is the biggest boxing card 
it, those two fights alone. I don't know if we had a mega fight of that magnitude on one card, two mega fights, because those are mega legacy fights. Arthur Benavidez versus Dimitri Bivol, winner versus David Benavidez, and Terence Crawford versus Canelo Alvarez. Those are two mega fights. I know we had Floyd Mayweather fought, uh, and then he had Danny Garcia versus uh, Demi um, versus Lucas the Machine Matisse. You know, there's been big fights, but this, that would be insane. If Turkey Alashi can pull that off, that would be insane. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's what that's what he's looking to do. And that's all I got for y'all, man. Drop a comment below. Let me know what y'all think about that. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. That's all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace.